Hey guys, Masane Nelly here, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. In the last episode, we went around town a little bit, did some side questy things, and we got the most hideous mask. Sorry, still hate it, still looking at it, still hate it. <laughs> and in this episode, we're going to continue going around town because there's a few more things that we have to do here. Now, while I'm walking on my way to the next thing that I want to take care of, I do want to mention briefly that yes, this is the wrong direction. Okay, yes, we are going to have quite a few things that aren't really optimal going on. I know a lot of people can do, can play this game in an, an incredibly small amount of time resets, but I'm not going to be outright going for a truly efficient playthrough. I'm just going to take things at my own pace. I know this game pretty well, I feel, and I'm going to do my best to show things in a fairly efficient manner, but don't expect me to, like, like epic speedrun anything. Speaking of epic speedrunning anything, um, I, I don't know this game that well. I can't pull off crazy things and do shortcuts and all that sort of thing so don't don't expect that sort of deal but i will do my best and just have fun with it so we're we're gonna be taking it a little bit casually but hopefully it'll still be fun stop why can't i not make this jump right now okay well uh jump failing aside there is something very interesting over in that lower left corner of this area and i'd really really like to get it Please? Maybe if I just normal jump it. Here we go, there, finally. You can't access this area as Deku Link. So now that we have our long legs back, we can actually hop over here to get ourselves 100 rupees. This is an incredible start and I love that we can actually do this. This is pretty fantastic and by the way, this does reset every time you reset time. So every every time we play the Song of Time, we can come back here and get a good head start with 100 rupees. Not complaining about that at all. And we've done this already, but I do want to swing by the Astral Observatory again. Let's see if I can actually remember this code. It was 5, uh, 4... Two, one, three? I think this is wrong. Oh my god, it's right! <laughs> wow, how about that memory? Oh, I'm actually amazed at myself. Well, we have access again, so we're gonna head through here and go back to the observatory, but now as a human, so I'll see you guys there. Here we are in this dark, dank looking area so we're gonna put on our Deku mask for the first time and it is the stuff of nightmares I don't know what Nintendo was thinking when they made that look so freaking awful but that has always looked just particularly gruesome to me just like freaking scream I don't like it but it is what it is uh, there's the scarecrow sneaking in a little dance and then stopping when we get close all over again. Oh, yeah, this is what the scarecrow says. Uh, now that we have the ocarina of time, I do not want to dance. By the way, I know of a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. Do you want to hear about it? Sure. If you play that strange, so that strange song backwards, you can slow, uh, slow the flow of time. And if you play each note twice in a row, you can jump forward to any point within the current day. And how's that? Pretty interesting, isn't it? But I'm sure I'd like any song written by you better, baby. No, I don't wanna. I don't wanna write a song. But that's pretty cool. That's your hint that there are other songs that aren't explicitly taught to you. Uh, I'm gonna be a human for this for the first time. Hello! Oh, you're a child I've never seen in town before. Are you a new friend of the bombers? Uh, no, not quite. 
Not exactly. <laughs> you can use this telescope to look around town. If you're interested, give it a try. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves another moon's tier. There's something that I'd like to do with the... Um, with the town's deed, so we get to see this during the daytime this time, I guess. By the way, it's really weird how we look directly down at the moon's tier when that doesn't particularly make sense for this contraption. Can we actually look that close to our base? We can. I wouldn't think that we'd be able to look directly beneath us like this with uh, with a giant telescope like that. I'd imagine that the range of motion would be fairly small and directed to the, to the sky. So this is what I wanted to keep tabs on right now. Uh, there's a Deku scrub leaving town. And if we follow him, we can see where he goes. Hello, I'm watching you. I'm not creeping. What are you talking about? I am not creeping at all. Not creeping. Still not creeping. Not creeping. I'm watching you go into that hole. Uh, take that as you will. Uh, here he goes. Go for it, man. Do it. Do it. Go. And he just awkwardly shrinks and goes in. So now that we've seen that, we can back out. Well, how was it? Did you discover anything interesting? Why, yes I did! I found a scrub that I apparently need to follow. You gazed through the telescope at the Astral Observatory and saw, a clock, saw clock Town's business scrub. Find out where he's flying off to. So that's a hint for something that we can do pretty soon. I'm pretty excited about that. But... We have another thing that we can take care of, namely this Moonstone again, or Moon's Tear, not Moonstone, that's that's freaking Pokemon. Does this look like Pokemon to you guys? No, it certainly does not. We are here playing Zelda, no Pokemon allowed. So now that we have the Moon's Tear, we can head back through the sewers, I guess it is, and head back to town. But I did notice that there's this treasure chest down in the mini-map and I actually don't know what that is. I've never gotten it so I think I'm gonna just mosey on over there and see what it is. I I'm really curious because I don't remember a treasure chest being there in the N64 version but maybe I'm just remembering things wrong. I don't know. There's a dude here. That hurt me. How dare? How dare? Don't do that. Oh. There's a cracked wall that I can't do anything with right now. Well, that's uh, disappointing at best. So, I guess we're putting that off for a little bit. We'll come back and investigate what that is because I'm pretty curious myself. I don't, I don't remember ever getting that particular treasure chest. See, this game still has mysteries for me to solve. Told you guys I don't know this game that well. <laughs> okay, so now that we are out of East Clock Town, I could go and do the thing right now. I guess I, guess I can exchange it. Yeah, let's go back to South Clock Town and talk to the Mr. Deku Scrub dude. Uh, I believe he will only do this transaction if you are a Deku Scrub, so we're gonna go ahead and change forms. Hello, come down and tell me to get out of town. This is my private property, don't try using it when I'm not around. Yes, I know, but I've already sold out of my wares and the carnival hasn't even begun. I'm thinking of closing up shop so I can buy a gift for my wife and return to, and return to her in my village. Uh, yes, yes, I know. Trust, I know. We've done this song and dance before, dude. Don't judge me. Here we go! And I'm poking that dog's eye. You really help me out now? I have the perfect souvenir for my wife. Yeah, get lost. Get lost. I just want your house, man. Let me have your house.
Uh, you also get lost, little doggy. And I, I don't have time for your shenanigans. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this rupee chest while I'm here. Because why the heck not? Extra rupees are extra rupees, right? We can only get this if we have the, um, if we have the golden flower too, so... It's probably the last time that we're actually gonna be, gonna be getting this particular treasure chest. Uh, you know, I don't want to be a Deku Scrub anymore. Let's go now to West Clock Town. There's a couple more places that I want to investigate. Um, West, like, there's a few places that we haven't even gone into yet. So this is the first time that we're going to be really getting into the nitty gritty of some of the smaller areas in town. And the places I want to go are right here. Check it out. We don't really have anything that we can do here right now. Oh, actually we can. Theoretically, four, five, six. Wow, you startled me. Do not disrupt my training. In my mind, I am running for exactly 10 seconds without looking at a clock. I was in the middle of mental training. You may make fun of me, but this is quite difficult. Will you try? <laughs> this is kind of, this is kind of bad. Okay, so press A to start. Count to 10 seconds in the precise moment you think you've hit 10 on the dot. Press A again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha, <laughs> just a little bit off. This is really difficult to do right now. Uh, we'll probably later come back and do this, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, like, fiddle with it all that much. It'll cost you two rupees. Oh, big spender here. You know what? Why the heck not? Let's do it one more time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my god, I'm actually really close. This is actually really close. I'm gonna do one more. One more. One more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dude, guys, look at this. I might actually be able to do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and way off. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I just had to see. I had to see if I could get it closer and closer every single time. Man, oh, I'm proud of myself for that. Okay, no, we're not gonna try again. So this is uh, this is a thing that we can do a little bit easier later on. We're not gonna do it right now because of that. So we'll we'll come back to this. Theoretically, I guess you could just start a start a like a stopwatch on your own. I think that's how I did it when I was a kid, actually. But uh, you play with the postman, but had trouble counting exactly to 10 seconds. Train, it's not just for transportation. Oh, and he's in our schedule book, too. Oh, the clock town mail deliverer extraordinaire. He's serious about his job and is always punctual, come rain or shine. He's very dedicated, I will say that much. So now we've introduced ourselves to the postman. Now we're gonna go next door for something that's a bit more feasible. Hello, sir. Oh, I like this gong thing. I wish it actually like did a gong sound, but it doesn't. <laughs> I like his cow. Look at his cow, it's just kind of going whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, this training center is friendly, polite, 24-hour, one-on-one training that will noticeably improve your sword skills. I sincerely doubt that. I have saved the world once, you know? Uh, okay. So will you try it? We're gonna go straight to the expert course. Cut down the 10 logs using my most difficult technique. If you score a perfect 30 points, I'll know you've mastered all of my secret techniques. Have you prepared? Yes, I have prepared. So let's pull out our sword, and his perfect thing is a jump attack. It's pretty simple. It's not anything, like, terribly difficult. If you don't line yourself up, then yeah, sometimes you can kind of get, uh, get some bum luck on it. 
because sometimes once in a while I'll 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 target it and I'll just kind of slash to the side of it and it'll kind of scoop me off. It's kind of weird when that happens, but it's not like it's terribly expensive to try again anyway, but it's easy, so eh. Hmm, impressive. I must give you something. Yeah. And we got a piece of heart for our troubles. Collect four pieces of heart to assemble a new heart container. Each new container you put together will increase the amount of life energy you have. You cleared the expert course at the Swordsman School. To commemorate your mastery, you got a piece of heart. Unbelievable. Cherish it well. <laughs> you know, this guy just looks like he's straight out of the 70s or something, except super exaggerated. And then he has a freaking like carpet on his head. I have no idea, but I always like this guy. I have always loved the Swords Master. He's just really funny in some weird way. So, now that we have finished that up, a uh, bomber kid looks like he really has to use the bathroom or something. Uh, what's got you dancing, little guy? You have a bomber's notebook, eh? That means you're one of us. In that case, I'll let you in on a bit of info I've been saving for a rainy day. I hear you can score a ton of juicy rupees if you guess the day's lucky numbers at the lottery shop. I never seem to be that lucky, though. This is our rumored events category. If we learn about something going on around the world, but haven't actually seen it for ourselves yet, it will give us a little new category to show us new things that we can investigate. It's pretty neat. Uh, most of them, I think, come from the little bomber kids around town. They can walk up to you and wiggle their butts and be like, I have something I tell you, etc. But now that we've finished that up, I think we're going to go ahead and skip forward in time. This is the first time that we're actually using the song of double time uh, i want to go to 6 p.m that was a trippy transition if i ever seen one uh speaking of trippy <laughs> hello ladies can i join you i mean you could have just said no sheesh rude Twin dancers who perform with Gorman's traveling troop. All right, well, we don't, we obviously are not wanted here. So we're going to go ahead and go into the lottery shop and talk to this dude. We shall now announce the winning numbers. It most certainly is not 111. It is 627. Too bad. If you wish to buy a ticket, you can buy one tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock. Come again. Now here's the cool part. Since we have the bomber's notebook... We actually get to jot down what the winning numbers for the first day are. So it's now 627. It's another one of those things that's different from file to file, so you can't just take it off of this video, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. Well, I'm not, I'm not that helpful. <laughs> but now, if we reset time, go back to the first day, we can guess 627, and it will actually be correct. It's pretty neat, and I like that touch that it will always be the same no matter what. So it really is just the same three days being repeated over and over and over. So that'll be nice to investigate once we have the time to do that. So it's 6 p.m. now, and we don't have much else to do until later tonight. But uh, you know what? We haven't really gone into some of the shops. We do need to wait for a little bit for interesting things to happen. But since we all, we do have a spare moment, let's take a look at the different buildings of West Clock Town. We haven't... I, I just came from here, actually. But I just kind of forgot about it. <laughs> I keep forgetting that we haven't actually looked around these areas. And there's a lot to see, actually. Planned moon trip. Experiment memo. Try using bomb powered... F bomb powered flight? Excuse me? Is that what this is supposed to be? Alright. That's cool. Hi. Hello. Did you come to buy a bomb? 
This is just between us, but I have, an, a, I have a huge bomb that this shop doesn't even carry. Oh, but my product is so heavy, I don't think you, you can carry it. I'm sorry I even brought it up. You should be sorry, you tease. What if I'm a bomb enthusiast? Thank you. Welcome. We're expecting to get our larger bomb bag, uh, our larger bomb bag back in stock pretty soon. But now that I think about it, it's already late. So we have a bomb bag here. This bag is for carrying bombs. It is made from a certain monster's stomach. Hmm. I wonder what monster that is. So. Uh, don't buy this. This is very tempting, but do not buy it. It is not going to be helpful in the very near future, so I'm just going to walk away. But just so you know, this is here. Uh, this is a trading post that we have seen before. And this is the curiosity shop. That opens at 10 p.m. So, never mind. We aren't going to check that out right now we'll check that out some other time when it's in when it's a little bit more convenient to go out of our way so i guess the only real the only real other place was the bomb shop oh well so we're gonna go back to north clock town and the interesting things happen at right around midnight so i'll see you guys then so here's a little granny coming through. Hello. How are you doing? Excuse me, just passing through. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, just passing through. Yes, I must break out the granny voice. We stand here. She just kind of waddle waddles on along until... Ouch, watch where you're going. Stop, thief. I'm just an old lady. Give me my luggage back. Uh, yeah, he doesn't really go all that fast. We can just kind of cruise right along with him. He's a terrible thief. And we can cut him down just like so. Thank you. Since he didn't make off with them, I can finally stock big bomb bags at our shop. Maybe I'll put them out tomorrow. Yes, I must thank you. Okay, I'm done with that. <laughs> it's a dangerous mask, but maybe you could use it to, th to throw your own festival fireworks show. You got the blast mask. Wear it and have a blast with B, but you'll lose life energy in the process. Well, thanks for helping me. Take care. Some thug tried to rob the old lady from the bomb shop. As thanks for coming to her rescue, she gave you the blast mask. Yes, because it's such a great idea to freaking give a kid the ability to blow his own face off. Uh, she's in charge of keeping the place well stocked. The shop is open all day, every day. So this is perfectly safe, guys. I, 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 I'm, I'm a fan of this perfectly safe mask that we have gotten from this old lady. I don't know what makes her think that's a good idea, but I suppose. Press B while wearing it to have a blast. Losing half a heart from the explosion, explosion is a side effect. So here we go. This is the blast mask. It is very vision blocking, I suppose. Just like they said, you do lose half of a heart when you use it. However, you can't use it immediately right in a row. There is a few second delay, of course. Uh, if you pull out your shield and then hit B, you take no damage, which makes absolutely no freaking sense at all because... Honestly, you should be taking more damage because it's concentrating the entire blast onto your face and ricocheting it back into your skull. It's never made sense to me why that happens, but I mean, it happens. <laughs> it's a tip and it's very useful because sometimes you just don't want to use your bombs, but I don't know. It just it just kind of bothers me. <laughs> Uh, well, I, I guess I won't, I won't look at it too harshly because, hey, we might as well take advantage of everything that we have. Uh, yeah, I, I made the flow of time go back to normal so that I didn't have to wait forever for the old granny to walk by. So we're going to slow the current flow of time again so that I don't waste too much of it. Come over here, talk to him, and we just got a larger bomb bag in stock. I'm gonna come over here. For 90 rupees, we get the big bomb bag. A lot better than a regular one. 
We're skipping right to level two. And there we go. You bought the big bomb bag that was on sale in Clocktown. You can carry even more bombs. Thank you very much. No, no, thank you very much. This is pretty awesome. It kind of weird. It's kind of weird to me how we get the ability to buy the big bomb bag and also basically have an infinite bomb on our face at the same time. It doesn't make too much sense to me, but I'll roll with it because I guess they're both useful. I mean, you can't exactly throw your face, so eh, whatever. It's useful. I'm just complaining a lot about this bomb situation that we're in. So now that we're done with that, let's go to the laundry pool. And remember this dude? We passed by him very briefly earlier on. And now if we talk to him, he has a little bit more to share with us. They said I was too I was much too loud when I practiced in my room. They got mad. Now, now I'm sad. <laughs> now I'll just think about the past to keep my mind off the bad. I guess I'll do that. Dear spectator, long ago I was in an animal troop with dogs and donkeys and such. Why could a why could a why could a man join? That's cause a man is an animal too, my boy. They were all great, but there was one thing I didn't like about it. Why was the why was the why was the dog the leader? Was it cause something was wrong with me, sir? Oh, that dog was an amazing leader. He always had a stellar troop no matter what animals he had to work with. That's why I that's why that's why I stole it. The dog's mask. I stole it. I wanted I wanted it because it was the leader's mask. But I no longer need it, so I'll give it to you. And with a hint of crazy, we got the Bremen mask. This mask belonged to the leader of the animal troop. Try parading it around tiny young animals. The leader was a good instructor. His member his members matured quickly and they became adults in an instant. You listen to Guru Guru's bitter tale. In return, you got the Bremen mask. Yeah! The Bremen mask is a thing. Whoops, I did not mean to open that up. Uh, it's pretty cool looking, I'm not gonna lie. I do like how it looks. A mask that inexplicably makes others want to march. Also makes young animals follow you around. So let's see what this looks like. It's pretty cool, not gonna lie. And it's really catchy! Dun, 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 dun. I can't hear it over him, so I'm gonna leave. Okay, now that we're away from his tune, listen to this. Okay, honestly, I completely forgot that the dog follows you with the Bremen mask. <laughs> Who's a good doggy? Who's a good pupper? Look at this good pupper. I'm gonna throw this pupper on this torch. Oh, I missed. I missed again. Oh, well. <laughs> That's what you get for tackling me when I was a Deku scrub. Anyway, now that we are done with everything that I particularly wanted to do for this episode, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up. And in the next episode, we're going to finally be breaking free from our restrictions and going out into the big world beyond. I will see you guys then. Messina out.